Welcome back. This is Motek. I'm Noel Moses, Modern FMD by Moses. Uh, in your program number 24, we are going to accept a number entered uh, by user and store them in a array. Then you will use for loop to display them. And this is how it looks from the book. Program in the figure 44 involve the creation of a lay code number which allow user to input value values by using keyboard and later on for loop where used to retrieve element stored in the array so uh, <clears throat> figure number number 43 show shows a piece of code and the figure number 44 shows a sample output how the output from the console should look like. So let us go. Uh, let us go uh, to our compiler and write this code. Control N uh, for creating new file. We need ABC plus plus hash include IO stream. Then using namespace std int main a main function then I put a comment uh, this is C++ program to store number in array and display display them so here create array of size Three int number int number three <clears throat> assign various values to <clears throat> to create the array. Array by using loop <clears throat> see out enter three numbers to be assigned in the array enter three numbers three numbers uh, to be to be assigned in array and line then we use for loop to receive input from user then will also use input uh, to retrieve element study in the array equal to as three put a semicolon a plus plus then <clears throat> we lead a user input by using c in mm, number <clears throat> then a semicolon after that uh, we print uh, print elements elements of array on the screen or on the console 
Let's so see. Oh, see. These are the elements of array number. These are the elements elements of array number and line and line. <clears throat> so here for loop begin for retrieving all uh, element study uh, in array named as uh, number. <clears throat> so b is less than or equals to three. Now put a semicolon b plus plus. <clears throat> See out uh, number 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 B then <coughs> I need it to end line end line so return zero so that is the end of our program so let's see how we should save a program uh, from our book a program should be saved as number array number array so number array dot c double p so <clears throat> our program is correct because we have zero warning zero error so enter three numbers to be assigned in the array let us compile and run this program okay my three number are two four and a five. Okay, these are the three elements of array number. So let us compare the output from console to that output from our book. As you can see, uh, everything is right. Everything is correct. Uh, the output from figure number 44 is similar to output from our console so that is the end of this program number 24 so uh, do not miss the next video which is the video number 25 uh, this is more I'm Noel Moses Modendo do not forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next video